Be sure to use code MODEX for any purchase on the Epic Games Store to help support the channel. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Modix back here with a brand new cycle video and in today's video we are going to be going over the ultimate pistol guide in the cycle. If this video does help you even in the slightest, be sure to leave a like and drop some comments down below so that I can reply to every single one of them. Let's hop straight into this guide. We're going to be talking about every single pistol in the game. We're going to be going over the different loadouts for them, going over the situations they're useful in and the situations they're not very useful in, as well as how the meta is reacting to each pistol. So we're going to start out with the Bulldog, probably the least used pistol that I see around. This pistol is basically a little shotgun pistol that has two shots and then you reload it and fire off your next two shots. It's pretty good at close range, but once you get to a distance, it is almost impossible to use. So I have every single mod unlocked for it and we're going to go over each one just to see what they do. So this first one changes the firing mode to a burst fire so you're able to burst both off at the same time it does turn down the damage per second and the overall damage a little bit i would not recommend this one unless it just really does fit your play style then we have the long barrel which does increase its range definitely a good one to pick same with the shell divider this one gives you more mags so you're able to shoot off more rounds but it does bring down the damage per second by quite a bit so personally, the hard kick hammers is going to be what I think is the best and increases your damage per second as well as your rounds per minute. But this pistol is just not really the best pistol to be using, especially right now, especially on map two as well. Because map two is such a large map and there is so much different altitude changes on it, it is very difficult to use this pistol effectively whenever you're not able to get in close range with them. Also, recently we have been seeing that grinding for your 200 credit weapon very early is the best way to win your games, so you're not going to be using your pistol for very long, hopefully. But you need a pistol that's able to take out your mobs very quickly and get you those credits, even if the mobs are halfway across the map, you want to be able to take them out since you don't have to go pick up those credits anymore. So this pistol just overall is not really going to be your best bet right now. It definitely is a fun weapon to use, but just the fact that you have to be so close in order to actually use it effectively is really detrimental to its overall effectiveness. Now with the rounds, slug rounds doesn't really have anything bad about it, so that's why I would recommend it. All of the other things either decrease the range or decrease the damage. You know, there's really just a bunch of different stuff that they do. Whereas this slug round right here goes through targets. So it penetrates the targets as well as decreases your base spread and all of that good stuff and increases the range. So definitely going to be worth to pick that up if you are going to be using this gun. Like I said, I would not recommend it, but we do have to go over it as it is a part of the pistol category. Now, the next gun is one that I see being used a ton. This might be the meta weapon for your pistol right now, and it is the hammer. I personally used to use this before I switched to the K28, and I will let you know why here in a second. But this gun is overall a really good option to be using. It's got distance, so you're able to take out enemies at a far range as well as take out mobs, and it can do the just the same amount of damage at a close range so you're still able to get a lot of damage done at a close range it's not really limited to a certain play style necessarily you can push up and use it or you can stay far away and tap away at people with it depending on what mods you use so it's definitely a great uh gun to pick up now with our site if i were you i would either go no site or go with the improved hollow dot because it does decrease your time to ADS by that little bit. And personally, I just like this sight a lot more. I'm able to hit more shots with it. The two times sight is not going to be very good for you. Just because if you do end up in a close range encounter, being zoomed in is going to make it a lot harder to aim and track your opponents. So I would not recommend doing this. But just figure out which one of these hollow dots you do like more, either the improved one or just the normal one. And go ahead and add that to your hammer. Now next up, we're going to be talking about this body modification slot right here personally i love the internal damper modification because it decreases your recoil by so much it increases the stability 
and then decreases the spread. So you're able to hit more shots just because your gun is not going to be kicking back as much as it normally would. Another thing that I really enjoy using is this double action because it shoots off two shots at the same time. They are a little harder to control and it does technically take down your rounds per minute and your damage per second by a little bit. But it does do more damage in that second that you do shoot. So you're able to one hit mobs with this if you hit double headshots with it. And it's just a very great way to just use this hammer in a different fashion. Now the other two mods we have is power chamber and ionized chamber. This ionized chamber just increases that range by a ton, but it only gives you four shots. So it kind of almost turns it into a sniper type of a pistol, which I personally am not a huge fan of because only four shots in this gun is not going to be enough damage to actually kill your opponents. And then also the power chamber, this does increase the damage by a little bit, but it decreases your rounds per minute by so much that I do not think it would be worth picking up. So same thing with that, just pick whichever one you are feeling. And then with our magazine, hollow point rounds are going to be the best bet or quick load cylinders. But honestly, low caliber rounds, this does increase your magazine size. So if you have bad aim, like Modix does, you might end up wanting to use this. But hollow point rounds are going to increase that damage by a lot for you. So you're able to do a lot more damage per second to your enemies, which is going to make this a more effective weapon overall. And honestly, this gun is just a really great option for new and experienced players the like. You're able to use it in so many different scenarios and so many situations that there isn't really a downside to this weapon. It can be far range and close range. It's just a matter of how you want to play it. So I would highly recommend using this pistol if you have not tried it out yet. You're able to really just figure out what kind of playstyle you want with it. Now. The next gun we're going to be talking about is my personal one that I have been using recently, as well as I've seen a lot of the community using it, and it is your starter pistol that you are going to be getting. So, this is the K28 Mark II. This weapon is a very good option to pick up because it is just such a versatile weapon. It isn't as good at PvP as the hammer is, but at the start of the game, you are going to be trying to grind up that 200 credit weapon as fast as you possibly can, which is going to make this a great option for you. The extended magazine gives us, give us this 18 bullets per clip, and then high grade spring decreases this recoil by so much that you're able to basically have a re recoil free gun. Rapid Fire or Full Auto is also a great mod to put on this because it turns it into a fully automatic pistol, which is really great. You're able to do a ton more damage. You just have to be sure you can control that recoil. This weapon, again, can be used in multiple different play styles, just depending on how you want to use it. It's not as great at far range, but if you are pushing into enemies, it is going to be a very good option for you. It's also insanely good at PvE encounters, which is going to help you grind up that 200 credit weapon even faster than if you were using some other pistol. This next one we're going to be talking about, the Scarab Pistol, is very similar to that in that PvP is not its strong suit, but if you can use this in the right circumstances, it is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. I don't see many people using it anymore with this new update, but I think that it is still a viable option. And when you put chain reaction on this thing, the shots carry on even after a hit. So if you hit one enemy, it is going to spread to any other enemies or mobs that are around the player which is just a very good thing, especially for Veltasite Minerals and other things like that that you're going to be doing early game. It helps out a ton, especially with contracts such as Laser Drill. You're able to use this no matter what point in the game you are at and just really destroy all of those different mobs that are going to be spawning and trying to take you out. Now, another mod that you are going to want to put on this is Focal Chamber. That way you are able to control the recoil and hit your shots with it. You could use some of the other ones if you want to try them out, but personally, I don't think they are worth. As well as Chain Reaction, it is going to just help you out so much. It's really the only way that you are able to effectively use this gun during this meta. And honestly, like I said, this gun is a very PvE-oriented gun, so if you aren't planning on rushing your 200 credit weapon, I would not recommend using it. But if you can get a 200 credit weapon for PvP, you can still use this at any point in the game for your PvE. Like I was talking about laser drill, we do know that the mobs get harder and harder as you go on, but this weapon is able to be used the entire time. 
by your player. It does enough damage and with the chain reaction can hit enough enemies to be able to be worth and do enough damage to actually take out all of those enemies. This has been the ultimate pistol guide for the cycle. We went over every single pistol and the mods to all of them, how you should play with them and all of that great information. If you made it this far into the video, I want you guys to comment the word lamp. I wanna see who made it this far into the video and comment the word lamp if you did. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Make sure that when you do buy things from the item shop, especially arm you are using code modix we appreciate you all so much for that if you have any more video ideas that you do want us to do let us know so that i can reply to you and get those videos recorded i appreciate you for watching all the way to the end of this video and i will see you in the next one peace